day, grade 11 STEM students, and welcome to the HP Classroom. This is Hazel Pauline Area Marsha, your instructor for your pre-calculus class. And this is our first lesson. Our first lesson for today is all about conic sections. This is the introduction to the different types of conic sections. Now, pag-aaralan natin ang mga bagay-bagay tungkol sa pinagmulan ng conic sections at kung paano sila, kung paano ang konsepto nito ay nabuo. So, ready na ba ang lahat? May binigay ako na learning material sa inyong Google Classroom and then you will take a look at the lecture material that I have sent and just follow this video para mas maunawaan natin. So, are you ready? Let us now start. So, this video ay inadopt ko from YouTube and this is from the YouTube channel Creative Learning. This is the best representation of what a conic section of what each conic sections look like. So, mapapansin natin, paano nabuo si conic sections? Paano nagkaroon ng iba't ibang kinds ng conic sections? Kasi, sanay tayo nung no, tayo ay nasa uh, ating junior high school days na more on sa graph na nakikita natin ay halos straight line. Ano po? Slant line, uh, straight line. Now, we will talk about curves. Mapapansin nyo, halos lahat ng ating conic sections is all about or are all about curves. So, let us now start. So, this topic is all about conic sections. In this module, you will learn about conic sections. Nagsimula ang conic sections when a certain line intersects a vertical line at a fixed point. Yan. Yan yung red dot. Then, Yung slanting line, mapansin nyo, itong slanting line, or yung line na nag-intersect sa vertical line, yung nakatayong line, ay umikot. Umikot siya around that, uh, around that vertical line. But tapos yung umikot, may nabuo tayong figure. And that figure is called a double right circular cone. So, a double right circular cone has two cones joined at a fixed point called the vertex. Yan yung vertex. And the line that rotates yung umiikot, yung umiikot around that vertex, yung tawag natin generator, yan yung line. And ang tawag naman natin sa vertical line ay axis kasi hindi siya gumagalaw. Now, ang double right circular cone ay may dalawang circular bases. Yun yung kanyang pinaka-base ng ating cone. Now, and mapapansin natin as we take a closer look, si vertical line ay perpendicular sa circular base, sa center ni circular base, perpendicular siya kay axis or vertex then a right circular the perimeter of the base is called the directrix diba yan? and ang kanyang lateral surface kung babalutan natin yung double right circular cone yung pinaka surface lang yan tinatawag nating nap Ibig sabihin, kung double right circular cone yan, magkakaroon tayo ng dalawang nap. Ang tawag natin doon sa taas is what we call the upper nap. And syempre, yung baba, ang tawag natin ay lower nap. Now, kasi double right circular cone, kasi from vertex ulit, from vertex down to the circular base, yung axis niya is always perpendicular doon sa kanyang base sa baba. Ano, nakakabuo ng 90 degrees. Sorry ko lang natin. Now, kung mapapansin natin, um, pwede kasi natin siyang gamitin, ano mamaya, gawing 
limiting reason para sa mga mabubo nating mga uh, conic sections. Um, yan, ito. The angle from the, vert the vertical line or the axis to the generator. Uh, to the generator. Ang tawag natin dyan ay vertex angle. Alam natin yan sa geometry kasi vertex angle vertex. Ano? Now, we will uh, I will introduce to you the different types of conic sections. So, yun yung pinagmula niya. The double right circular cone. And the double right circular cone, kung paano siya nabuo, then, ito na ngayon, conic sections na. This is the first topic. And, bakit conic sections? From the word conic, which is which means cone. Ano pertaining to cone. And, sections are parts. So, parts ng cone. So, bakit nagkaroon ng parts? I will explain to you later on. So, start na tayo ulit. Okay. If a plane intersects a double right circular cone, Yan. If a plane daw intersects double right circular cone into two-dimensional curves in different types, these curves are called conic sections. Yung pinaka-intersection ni cone at ni plane. Kasi si cone is a 3D uh, surface. Siya ay three-dimensional. Meron siyang height Meron siyang width, meron siyang length. Ang plane has two, length and width. So, yung intersection nila, nilang dalawa, on yung curve na nabuo, yun yung tinatawag natin conic sections. And it depends upon the position of the plane kung paano nabubuo itong ating conic sections. Naunawaan? Okay, let's continue. Siyan. Depende sa kanyang position, nagkakaroon tayo ng iba't mong shapes. Yan. Depende din sa angles na napuform niya from the axis papunta sa plane. Hindi na siya ngayon from the generator. Yan. Kung siya ba ay kasama yung sa first nap or kasama yung dalawang naps. Depende. Now, let's go to ellipse. Kung ang, ang isang plane ay nag-intersect kay double right circular cone sa manner na ang angle between the plane mula sa plane papuntang axis ay mas malaki or mas malaki yung kanyang angle na nabuo kesa sa ating vertex angle. So, A is the vertex angle and B is the angle made by the plane to the axis na inaunawaan papunta dun sa axis ibig sabihin, yung intersection nila dun lang tayo titingin sa, lin, uh, sa curves na nabuo where the plane and the cone meet yan, that is what we call ellipse now when a plane is perpendicular karoon tayo ng konting shift naging perpendicular yung ating plane's axis. The ellipse becomes a circle. Wherein, dahil mas malaki pa rin yung perpendicular angle or 90 degrees dun sa ating vertex angle, pansinin ninyo, mas malaki pa rin siya. Siya isang special type of ellipse. The circle is a special type of ellipse. Meron lang siyang kakaibang karakteristik kesa sa ellipse. So, mapapag-aralan natin yan sa mga susunod na lesson. Pero si circle is special type of ellipse. Next, parabola. Parabola, uh, natutunan nyo na ito nung kayo ay nasa grades uh, 9, I think, grades 9 and 10. And, ito ay pa, uh, ito ay kung paano siya nabuo. Ano? kung paano na ganun concept. Now, if uh, the plane was positioned uh, so that 
uh, position to the double right circular cone so that the vertical axis is exactly or the same sila ng value ni vertex angle magkakaroon tayo ng open curve yan, yung open curve na yun ang dinatawag nating parabola okay. yan, yan yung open curve yan yung intersection ng plane and ni conic section yun yung parabola now, what is hyperbola? Now, when a double right circular cone intersects, yan. So, as long as the plane and the vertex, vertical angle is greater than or equal to the vertex angle. However, if the plane intersects the vertical axis at an angle smaller, yan. Lahat sila halos uh, greater, equal. Now, paano kung mas less? Paano magiging less? Tingnan natin. Paano kung ang mabuo nating angle from plane to the axis is smaller than the vertex angle? Tingnan niya, Yan. And, yung plane nag-touch sa dalawang nap. Nag-touch sa dalawang nap. Sa upper and lower nap. B is less than the vertex angle, which is A. Now, ang nabuo natin dyan ay two disjoint curves which is what we call the hyperbola. Hindi sila pwedeng isa lang. Ano po? Lagi silang dalawa. Explain natin yan kung bakit. So, that is hyperbola to disjoint curves. Open din sila na sa magkabilang dulo. Now, meron pa tayong special types of conic sections. This is what we call the degenerate conics. So, degenerate conics, hindi naman tayo nakafocus sa curves. Tingnan natin kung bakit. So, maroon tayong three, three types of degenerate conics. Now, when the plane intersects at the vertex, wherein mas malaki din siya, yung angle from the plane to the axis is mas malaki kasi sa vertex angle, hindi siya magta-touch dun sa dalawang, curve, sa dalawang cones, dun lang mismo siya sa vertex. Ang nabuo natin is a point. Now, pag nag-touch si plane, dun lang sa isa pinakagilid ng curve, nag-touch lang siya dun sa lateral surface. Ano yung lateral surface? Sa mukha no, ating double right circular cone. Nakabuo tayo ng line. Dun lang kasi sila nag-intersect. Now, kung siya naman ay magiging, magkasing, what do you call this? Perpendicular siya sa, if the plane will be perpendicular to the circular base, mapapansin natin, magkakaroon tayo ng intersecting line. So, those are the three types of degenerate conics. The point, the line, and the intersecting lines. Yan po the degenerate conics. And, kung mayroon pa tayong mga tanong about conic sections, pwede naman po kayong uh, magtanong, mag-message, and tumawag sa akin para ma-explain ko pa sa inyo. So, so far, natutunan natin sa module na ito or sa video na ito, itong mga bagay na ito. Ayan. Unti-unti natin ipakita. Available naman ang ating learning materials. At alam ko naman ito yung na ito map ay pamimigay ko sa inyo. So, thank you for watching. Pwede nyo itong balikan para uh, mapag-aralan nyo anytime, anywhere. And para hindi tayo, uh, para maging guide nyo rin ito para sa mga susunod nating lessons all about the different types of conic sections. So, thank you for watching and God bless. Good luck sa pagsasagat ng activities. Nandiyan na rin yan. Thank you.